Hey everybody, well welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina and today is going to be a new project pan intro. This project specifically is about eyeshadows and it's one that I've never done before in the way that it's set up. This year I definitely told you guys I was not going to be doing a pan that palette this year because it just never works out the way I want it to. So I was really kind of leaning towards more of a pan those pan in every eyeshadow or pan those eyeshadows, that, that kind of project instead. And a lot of you guys recommended this one to me. So this is Project Level Up. Project Level Up was created by Sophie Alexander here on YouTube. She's been doing it, I think she said for about two, three years now. And a lot of you guys really, really enjoy it and thought that it would be something that'd be more interesting to me. So I decided to look into it and I agree. I think it will be a lot more fun to do and something that could really help me out in my in my actual goals for my, my collection. So before I jump into the rules and the picking process, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button if this is content that is interesting to you. I do plan on at least updating as frequently as possible, and I have some other project pan intros coming up. So if this is the kind of content you like, definitely hit that button, and let's go ahead and jump into all of the information. So like I said, this project was created by Sophie Alexander and basically what you do is it's like a tiered system is the way I, li I like to think of it almost, or levels, project level up. So you start out with level one, which is you pick one palette and the goal is to use every shade in that one palette, but to hit pan on one. Level two, you pick two palettes. Editing me here, I misspoke in this video. Um, for level two, you pick one palette in that palette you use everything twice and you hit two pans level three you still pick one palette hit pan on three use everything three times for whatever reason i was also upping the amount of palettes which that would be very difficult to uh, keep up with so definitely not that okay bye you can go as many levels as you want but most people that do this project seem to stick with level five. I personally think level five is probably the maximum I could probably do. But luckily within this project, obviously you can cater the rules if you wanna finish the shadows, but you just have to hit pan and then you can rotate. So I think this will be way more successful. I also like the added rule that you're supposed to use every single shade in the palette first as well. That way the entire palette's getting used and you're getting some pan in there. Um, this aligns more with what I want to do, so I ended up going through my collection and taking out all of my palettes that have zero pan in them because I would like for all of my palettes to get used this year, and I think that's a good way to gauge how frequently something is used, is if you have pan in it or not. So I pulled out every single palette that does not have pan, and I have 21 eyeshadow palettes. That includes like quads and little, so I have like a couple quads, like these guys and smaller palettes as well as some of my larger palettes that don't have pan so i thought that would be a good way to at least start this project and see how it does and i think that's really it it's pretty self-explanatory i again do plan on going up to level five once i complete five i may start over i may do a different project depends on how i feel about this um, with this, I will try to, of course, take eye look pictures for you guys so you can see how I'm using the palette as often as I can. And I'm really bad at doing that, you guys know. But there will always be progress photos, and I will do tallies to let you know how often I was using something. Obviously, I need to keep track of if I've used every shadow at least once, so that will be my way of gauging that. Um, but I think that should be probably the best and easiest metrics for us to kind of see how often something's being used. And yeah, I guess without any further rambling and talking, let's go ahead and pick what palette I'm gonna start with. So I ended up putting all of my palettes into this little wheel to spin. I will be choosing the actual shade I wanna hit pan on myself. I won't be leaving that up to fate because that's not gonna be successful for me, but at least picking the palette can be random because um, I think that would probably be fine. So let's go into it. So it looks like it has picked the Nook Ink Quad, which is funny because I picked up its counterpart. So here is the Nook Ink Quad. So the Nook Ink is a Animal Crossing collab that came out with ColourPop, I think in three, three years ago in 2020. Um, it is a teal based shadow, but there are only four shades in this. So this should be actually pretty easy for me to get through. I think the shimmers on my this shimmer right here, it's like a glitter top coat, will be the easiest to pan. 
and then all the other ones there's only four shades in here so this should be a really quick update and a quick turnaround on this guy so like i said four shades let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys the first shade is yes yes which is i mean they're all going to be teal it's a nice silver the next shade is made in the shade which is another glittery one but more green the bottom one right here is called CEO, which is like a glitter top coat. This one will be the easiest for me to do, I think, because I can just kind of throw it on, just dab it on my lids like every day. It's a very pretty iridescent silver-based teal glitter. And then the last one is a Water Landing, which is the only matte in the shade, and it is a deep teal matte color. Here they are swatched on my fingers. Like I said, I definitely think this one will be the easiest for me to pan because it can be used so easily. I could probably throw it on right now even. Let me do that. I won't count this as it's one use, but like I can just do that with like every eye look. The pressed glitters from Colourpop are pretty soft as well, so I think that one will probably go pretty quickly. Yeah, I could see this one being really easily done in a month. Um, depends on how easy it is to hit pan on that one shade, but as far as using every single shade once, easy. So definitely level one. We're starting out good. I think this is a good introduction into the project for sure. Um, once I hit pan on one of these, I will completely roll it out of this so it can't be picked again, obviously, and we'll work our way. And yeah, so the next time I see you guys will be an update when this guy is probably going to get rolled out and we'll roll something else in. Um, hopefully I have some interesting eye look pictures to share with you guys as well as some good progress pictures on the pan moving. Um, I'll try to take pictures every few days of the pan or every few times I use it that way we can see it progressing. And yeah, really excited. I really think this will be a fun and successful project to me. And of course thank you Sophie for creating something as interesting as this. I don't see many projects like this generally. So it's really nice to have it kind of tiered and it gets harder as you go. It's a nice little challenge without you know starting out really hard from the get-go so i think it will keep things really fresh and exciting for me and hopefully also for you guys but as always thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next update of this and also in future videos so again if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button and i hope you all are doing really well and i will see you in my next video bye